With that impending verdict, local community leaders and police have talked about handling what could happen if demonstrations flared up again here. 41 Action News reporter Mackenzie Nelson takes us inside that conversation. As tensions are high across the nation, proactive actions are being taken here in Kansas City. Last summer was a big lesson for all of us, and we're continuously learning how to do this better, and I really think this is a great first step forward. Faith leaders hope that trust will prevent scenes like this on the Country Club Plaza following the death of George Floyd last year. Now, as the trial is nearing an end, faith leaders met with the Kansas City Police Department regarding the potential for protests once the verdict is read. We don't represent every faith institution and our, every faith group that is here in this city. But we stand together united to say that we want peace. We always want justice, but we want peace and we want calm. Around 50 clergy and KCPD officers had open conversations Friday to learn, understand, and question what protests could look like. It is all right to protest peacefully. It's not all right to protest violate and cause destruction. This is the message faith-based leaders want to get across, even going as far as assuring KCPD they will lead the protests. Whichever way the verdict goes, and I mean this very affirmatively, is watch how your faith leaders protest first. After meeting at the table, both KCPD and faith leaders are convinced changes have been made for the better. We have a new use of force policy. We have a new First Amendment response policy. All of our officers are equipped with body cameras. We need to do what we do for one, we do for all. How we treat one, we treat all. How we arrest one, we arrest all for the same offense. Next week, the mayor, police chief, and prosecutor plan to meet to continue the conversation. In Kansas City, Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News.